Hey guys, how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of the Platinum, actually the Crystal Age Technology Platinum 4K Cinema, um, the uh, Fusion Silver Fusion Black Crystal Vision projection screens, and the Future Tech 4K. So today we're going to be talking about the Future Tech 4K. Uh, this right here is a screen under Future Tech. Uh, it was the first one we actually showcased. The screen was called the Platinum 4K Gold, but we thought it would conflict with the Platinum 4K Cinema screens. So the screen has been changed over to the tit Titanium. Uh, 4k gold which is a future tech now mind these screens come in a gold version uh, we have it in a silver version and then we have it over here which is the 47 ag and we have the nano black technology screen now for those of you that are sitting there thinking well guess what what is the difference between your screen and whatever screens out there on the market well check out please at the bottom of the comment section you will see a um, link marked uh, uh, nano black technology you'll see our screen laying against another black screen and our screen can, can produce brighter whites and brighter colors despite the fact that the screen is jet black and maintain 100% perfect contrast. As for the 47AG, the screen is silver, can produce a white level that's brighter than the actual color white. And the screen that lands across the screen actually starts to turn dark. That's how much light the screen generates and can do this with 0% hot spotting and 0% screen glare. Now, over here we have the uh, titanium. This is the 4K Gold by Future Tech. Uh, these screens are designed for amazing, amazing uh, gaming. They're fantastic for gaming. They're insanely incredible for 3D. The screens have Ultra 3D, 4, or actually Ultra 4K 3D, which these screens are freaking insane. Now, um, they show you the advancements of these screens. And mind you, just want to put this out there really quick that these, this particular form of technology is in negotiation with a few projection screen companies due to the fact that the technology is very good i think that may be one of the sample yes a sample all right so let's get to the sample since this one fell off already over here we have the dmp supernova this is the blade right here so let's put that up there hopefully it stays through the whole demonstration all right over here we have the infinity by Supernova right there. There's my Batman over there, always supporting what I do, my Batman. Um, over here we have the Cinema Grade 5D, which is a favorite screen among people who have the Elite screens. Uh, mind you, this screen, I can flip this around a little bit if it's not so temperamental with me. I guess I'll just take it off. This screen right here has a 1.5 gain on it and a 110 viewing angle. Right, 110 viewing angle on it, okay? that right there over here we have the dark star 9 okay this screen has oops I don't want to rip the tape off of this I'll make sure I get this if the tape rips off it I do apologize I'll have to put it back up again has a 0 0.9 and has a hundred and eighty degree viewing angle so you got a hundred and eighty degree viewing angle 110 this is 1.5 and gain this is 0 0.9 this right here is the Infinity Blade and the Infinity uh, Infinity Blade and and really I forgot that that quick. Gee whiz, bird. Let me go in here real quick. Infinity Blade. Oh, what am I talking about? One, yeah, it's a it's a TMP. One's in the Infinity, one is a Blade. Doo -doo. Sorry about that, guys. Early in the morning, early in the morning, haven't had that Captain Crunch or Lucky Charms to spark my day. All right, so let's get this started and show you the advancements of these screens and why these companies are interested in this technology. Now, mind you, whatever company we decide will get the future te technology, um, it's going to have a huge jump on the competitor. I lied to you not. So you've seen the screen, we're going to show the angle gain of these screens, we're going to show you every, everything. All right, so let's remove this right now. And as you can see, we're doing this in a fully lit environment. As I said before, that you know people are going to, more and more people every day are replacing uh, their screens um, uh, with, uh, replacing their TVs with projection screens. And you want a projection screen that can react the same way that a TV can react. You don't want it in a darkened, darkened environment. You want to be able to enjoy it. And any form of environment that you choose to have it in. All right, so let's get this started right now. So, as you can see already, look at the screens. Look, I'm going to come over real close. I want you to see this. So, look at this already. Here we are with the um, Supernova, Supernova, Elite Screen, and Elite Screen. And look at the difference. Now, watch this.
you know, see, not to put these screens down, but these screens have something called a now viewing angle. Now, the Gray Cinema 5 has a very good viewing angle. It does. It's just when you get up in front of it, it turns a little bit. Oops, I'm stepping on a CD behind me. Turns darker. Can't pick up natural color. It has, it has amazing, like this, um, the Cinema 5D has amazing um, um, angle gain. It's just the problem is that when you get right in front of it, it gets dark. See how natural the color looks on our screen compared to these screens. Look at this. Come right up again. And show you how dark they get. If you look at our screen, that screen, it looks, that's natural color, what you're seeing right there. You want the color to look natural. You want a well balance of contrast and bright, vivid colors. Now, in other ways, these screens have amazing capabilities. I mean, these high end screens have amazing capabilities when it comes to certain contrast levels, but you need something that is going to give you a perfect balance when it comes to color. Look at this. Look at the top angle. Like I said, the Cinema Grade 5D has amazing angle gain. It does. I'm sorry, not the, uh, my fault, my fault, the Elite screen. This is the uh, Cinema, yeah, good Cinema Grave ID. I didn't say that right the first time. It does have amazing angle gain. But you want the colors to look natural. Right, you see that? See the color right there. If you look at that screen, that screen looks just like a TV. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to test this with a little snow background to show you uh, the, um, the, uh, that the, screen ha the screens have a problem with uh, oversaturation of contrast levels. They can't produce um, uh, pure whites. So the screens come up a little dark when it comes to pure whites. Now, anything, any screen that's going to have really bad white levels, then the problem you're going to have with that is the fact that the colors are not going to be as bright. It's not going to be as vivid. Look at this. Like I said, despite the uh, Cinema 5D, or if I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pronouncing it right, I do apologize. Uh, despite the fact that it does have um, amazing um, um, angle gain, the fact that it do, it gets dark up front. Now look at the white level. Let's go back here. I'm going to pause right here. All right, now look at the white levels. I don't even need to do the snow scene. I got it right here. Look at the white levels. This is what I mean by oversaturation of contrast levels. It's funny because when I first started talking about this, people thought, okay, he doesn't know what he's talking about. No, no, no. There's a such thing as when a screen uh, has too much contrast that it overshadows the white levels. And this is the results that you get. Now, it may look amazing when it comes to certain contrast levels. Yes, it's going to look amazing. Um, the colors are going to be a little more deeper. They're going to pop. But when it comes to a pure white level that's actually going to produce more vivid, more natural color, this is what you're going to get. Now, mind you, now if I'm watching this on an angle, if I'm right here and I'm watching this on an angle, this is what you're getting. Like I 
angle. So don't get me wrong, the Cinema Grade 5D has amazing angle gain. It does. The only problem is when you get right up in the center of it, it turns into this. Okay guys, you know, I'm going to end it right here because I have a lot of work on my plate right now. But I just want to show you this really quick, um, the progress uh, on the future tech screens. Um, we do have a sample coming in uh, from uh, Japan which is a form of new surface that we ordered uh, that basically will flex with the screen a little more. Like I said, we're still doing testing on it because like I said, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a wild card. Um, we may and may not decide to, um, to allow the company to take over this technology. Like I said, it's still up for grabs. So it depends on what happens. We don't know yet, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd really like to thank you all for watching. Um, as I said before, for those of you that are emailing me about the Crystal H technology screens, um, that particular chemical, like I said, there was an element in it that was interested to a, another party. The NDA was signed for it. Um, there is still talks and negotiations over it, uh, but that product will be discontinued. That's definitely going to happen. As for the future tech, um, those screens right now um, are in um, negotiation. We just received an NDA. I'm not going to tell you who and what, who the company is until we talk to the company and get permission uh, to name, say the name of the company. Um, but for right now, there was an NDA issue for this particular technology um, for the advancement of it, for what it can do. All right, so uh, that's basically about it. I have to get back to work. Uh, you guys all have a good one. Hope you enjoy the dem hope you enjoy the demonstration. I'm so freaking tired. I got. I, I need a vacation. Really do. I really need a vacation. I, when all this is over, I'm going to Disney World, man. I am so going to Disney World. Okay, guys, you all.